guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about the most beautiful books that I own on my shelf. I've recently bought a lot of books and a lot of beautiful books, so I was like, why not make a video? But before I'll be talking about those books, I just have to like quickly mention like a few things. So in the upcoming three weeks, I probably won't be able to post like two videos a week. I will definitely be doing my best, but school is extremely busy in three weeks. I'll be having a test week again, so then I have eight tests in one week. And if I get like good grades for this test week, I'm like pretty safe to go to like my final year of high school. So I just need to like kick this test week's ass. Then I can just be like, whew. I made it through the school year. I'm also following diving lessons on Friday evening from like 6.30 to 11.30s, which is like super long and it's super exhausting, but it's a lot of fun because this year I'll be going to Florida on vacation. So maybe I can dive in Florida and next year I'll be going to Bonaire, which is like an island in like the Caribbean area. So then of course I need to have like a diving diploma so that I can dive underwater and it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm super excited. And I also got a job, so I'm gonna work. I don't know, work. I hope that you guys will understand that I won't have a lot of spare time these upcoming four weeks, but I'll definitely try to keep posting videos. But if you do not hear from me for like a week, don't worry. I'm just like studying chemistry and physics and math and all that kinds of stuff. But right now, let's go on to the most beautiful books that I own. So I'm gonna first start off with a book that I'm also currently reading and that is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. So I believe that I got like the UK version because uh, the US version has less pages and these golden like details are not on the US cover. They're like yellow on the US cover. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love the gold and blue details on the side. I also love the font of the title and of course this image of the desert and someone riding a horse and this huge beautiful castle and it is just an absolutely stunning book. This is also my favorite cover at the moment that like I own of all of my books. Then of course I have the covers from the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I mean these are so stunning. I absolutely love Selena on these covers. She looks just so badass like on the front and then on the back she's wearing this beautiful dress but my all-time favorite cover that I own of the series until so far is The Assassin's Blade. I just absolutely love this cover. The blue is just so vibrant and I love her cave that she's wearing and the golden details on like the title. And these paperbacks are actually really nice. Like they feel quite firm but they're also like floppy. Then I have the UK versions of the Mortal Instruments series. So here I have City of Bones and here I have City of Ashes. And they're just so plain and simple but then this design like on the front cover, they are just so detailed. I just can't stop looking at it. Again, I also really love like the gold details like on the title and like these little sign things that you see everywhere. I have no clue what they're called because I still haven't read the first book. The three covers of the Anna and the French Kiss companion novels. Of course, here I have Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and last but definitely not least, I have Isla and the Happily Ever After. I think that this is actually my favorite cover. Green is not my favorite color, but I love green books. Like, I love this gradient on the book, like all of these books have like some sort of like gradient going on. This is like orange and yellow and then from Anna you have like dark pink to light pink or red or something but this is my favorite cover. I also love the building like New York and Anna has Paris and Lola has um, San Francisco. To all the ways I love before and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. These covers are so adorable and cute. I could never write something like this but I absolutely love the font. It is so beautiful and then you see this girl like on her bed looking at like a notebook and all that stuff and when you open it like this, it's just like a big picture. Oh my god, the hardcovers are so beautiful. That's basically why I bought them as well. Like, to all the boys I loved before is super pink, and then the spine is white with black font. Hello? Come here. P.S. I Still Love You Without This Jacket is even more beautiful in my opinion. It's this beautiful pastel blue with like, again, the white spine. These two are my most beautiful hardcovers that I own because they have like this special color scheme to it and they're not just plain black. Illuminate by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman is one of my favorite books as well. It's just such a stunning hardcover. I mean, like the dust jacket is super shiny and feels so smooth. And when you remove it, you have this super cool book. It has like a file on the book itself. As you guys know, the book has like this super interesting format it's all like told in files and all that stuff. And last but definitely not least, and that is of course the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling and Jim Kay because he illustrated this book 
I just don't really have to explain why this is the most beautiful book. I mean, look at just like the cover and of course the inside. Definitely a book that you should have in your collection if you're a big Harry Potter fan and I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I also can't wait to go to Florida because then I can go to like the Wizardly World of Harry Potter and I'm definitely gonna do that and buy like a wand and all those other like fan things that I just need to have. Those were my most beautiful books that I own on my shelf. Let me know in the comments down below which book you thought was absolutely stunning and let me know like a cover that you especially love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!